Hey guys, this is LJ99 and welcome back to another episode of Enlarged Grass Block Survival. Since the last episode, I have added a platform above the tree farm. So then we can't get those really big annoying trees that are really hard to cut down and take forever. So we just get some normal sized ones. And I have also reorganised and redecorated my house. So let's take a look, because it's changed a lot. So I got rid of all the chests, all here, and we have some barrels in the floor for what I didn't have space for, really. And then we have them all lined up along the wall, all around here, future nether stuff for when we do that. Then we have our brewing room, there will be our brewing stand on top of that, and then our enchantment room. And if we come in here, this bit is pretty much the same. And then we have our things for today here. So we are going to need lots of cobblestone, trapdoors and hoppers. Because we are going to be working on a mob farm. So let's go. Wait, do I have any torches? I have a few torches. I might need more. Let's go grab some coal. Okay, coal coal this way mining loot there we go one two three four i'll take some of that there we go now let's head over to the where this is going to be so we need to go this way oh i went too far oh well i can just go back here to here so we are going to start off by putting our um hoppers in here so let's grab them there we go so if we crouch here then we can attach them to the chest and then we can start going up so we've got one two three four five six seven eight nine 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Is that high enough? Possibly. Okay, let's jump down. Let's put that there. There we go. And just jump down into it. I know what I should do. Or we can go straight to there. There we go. Okay, it hasn't knocked any torches over. That's because they're all up there. So that is good. That should be working its way down. There we go. Let's just put 22 we needed in there. So, come on. That's still going down. Let's try and swim over. Ah, no! Oh, oh, that was close. That was close. So, I'll cut ahead till the water's gone because I don't want to fall off. Okay, so all of the water is now gone. I'm just going to go over this like that and then put some water in there so we can jump down into there. Although I now need to go grab some. Oh, can we grab some from in here? There we go because that's an infinite water source. And then we can continue building. So let's grab that so we can hop up. And then keep going. So we wanted 22. So if that's 1, we're going to need 21. So if we go 1, 2, there we go. And just use this. That way we don't have to count all our way up. Because it's just until we run out of blocks. So let's go all the way up here. Oh, we got one more. Okay. One more by the looks of things. There we go. So I will fast forward while I do those sides because they're just going to be the same. So fast forward now. Okay, so we have finished building all round here, so we can start going out. But first, oh, I didn't get any signs. 
So let's grab some signs because we are going to need to put them. Wait a second, because then the water goes up to there. No, we are not going to need them. Okay, because this design, we don't need them. Let's go grab some more cobblestone. Oh, we should actually have food. So let's just eat this melon. There we go. And then we need to go out seven or eight. I can't remember how much. Seven or eight. So let's put that up there and then break that. Because that's going to be the platform where the mobs are going to spawn. And this is the water channel that's going to push them down there. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I believe it's eight. It's either seven or eight. I can't remember. So we will try this size and then see. Because we can always make it bigger or smaller depending on what happens when I add water. So let's go along here. Then if I do that and break that one. And then we grab the water. There we go. Hop up so we don't get pushed. There we go. So as you can see that comes right to the edge. So if I grab, oh I can't grab the bucket, there we go, grab the bucket in time, hop up here, place that there so we have a little infinite water source, just for now because that's going down there, but in the future those two won't have any water in. So, oh it's night time, oh we've got to try and get back, that's not good, I should have brought a bed down here. Okay, come on. So I will skip ahead until we are back up there and it is day. Okay, so we are almost back up. There we go. Let's just cover these up, although we should probably stand on one. There we go. And then we can just place all this. We should probably count how big it actually is. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine nine okay oh I'm one over oh that's not meant to be have any on so yeah eight I was right in the first place so if we go out eight so we've got one two three four five six seven and then from here so one two three four five six seven eight and then grab some more cobblestone there we go and then that will be the wall i think okay let's go out then we go out and then go back the reason i'm not using half slabs is because they can let light through and that can stop the mobs from spawning which we don't want because we want loads to spawn up here so let's just build this out oh where's it going almost went off the wrong way there we go let's place that down and as you can see oh maybe not let's place that there okay reaches the edge but doesn't go down so that is good so let's place that there there we go and we'll just need to repeat this all the way around so let's skip ahead until that is done okay so we have now built up all of those walls we are now gonna add trap doors because if we leave them up for now they will be down so mobs can spawn in them but if we leave them up for now like this we can use them to walk on so then we can get around the spawner easily so then we won't fall down okay let's just go along hopefully I have enough I have a stack that I made so let's go just place all of them down okay so I've done two half of it and I'm on half a stack which means I did calculate it right 
and we have got enough just so let's go along here jump across and along here there we go ah I didn't mean to uncrouch okay we just need to break this one grab it there we go and then that can go there then next step in making a mob spawner is to fill in all of this so we come along here okay I think there's one more and then back in to make the platforms there we go so being too high the mobs can't then get back up onto the platforms but they can fall down and then the trap doors increase the chance of them falling down so it helps you get more loot and stops them just wandering around up here though if you want spiders to fall you've got to make this bigger so like this hole maybe three by three because the spiders can't fall down when it's two blocks which is a flaw in this but this is the standard most common size and shape used so that is what I am using because it is what I've like always used okay let's build across hopefully I haven't gone too far I wasn't counting there we go just the right amount so let's fast forward while I fill in all these Okay, so we have a little thunderstorm which has also reminded me that I should place torches down because we don't want the mobs to spawn yet. So let's continue with placing because our bed is really far away so we might as well just keep building. Although we should keep a lookout in case any of our buildings down below get set on fire. But I think the most of this world is just sky, so we should be fine. Let's just fill all this in. There we go. Almost there. And then we just have the sides and the ceiling to do. So let's break that get rid of them we don't need water anymore so next we need to build up these so you go one two and then we will need a third one or to save blocks you can do that there we go just like that oh that's a bit bit short okay let's go up a little bit more up and up let's build a little staircase or pile up there we go and then build there so this is the roof of the spawner so we can just build right along here like so there we go just keep going till we get to here and then if we go one, two, three, one, two, three, then that connects to there. So we can go destroy our wood because we don't need that. There we go. Break that one. So then that will cover it so things can spawn even in the day. And then all you have to do is the walls so they will just be like this all the way around so you just have a giant cobblestone cube so if we just fill in the edges for now okay we need to go up here one two two three one nope i can't reach there we go and then if we put that there jump up crouch and then bridge across 
use my Sky Wars skills, not Sky Wars, Bed Wars from my streams. There we go. Do the same along here. Just go along as far as you can, all the way to the edge. There we go. The reason I'm not bothering with the corner ones is because you don't need them and that will just waste your blocks. So let's just keep going. If I hop up here, there we go. And then we just got those sides left and we can go down, remove the torches for now and then we can always finish off the sides and um, ceiling out of episode because this is a lot of repetitive building that's why I've fast forwarded so much of it and cut bits because it's a lot of just repetitiveness so there we go just go across here like so we also need to, if I get an empty hand, go along and just open all of these trap doors. So if I just run along like so, just placing them all down, jump across. That's the thing about it being two, it's easy to jump across. If it was three, it'd be harder. Although that's still easy to do. Okay, almost there. Put all of these down. So then if we break the torches, things should start spawning. But they can jump off the sides, so let's just make them too high. Because I guess if you're gonna... You'll still have stuff spawn at night if you don't have your ceiling, won't you? Because it will still be dark. There we go. That's another reason for having this three high. It gives you room to jump and sprint across the gaps. So let's just fill all this in, like so. Oh, I've only got 10 cobblestone left, actually. So I wouldn't have enough to do the ceiling. So I will have to finish that out of episode. So let's just break all this. Have some food. Jump down. There we go. Grab our bucket. And pick that water up, because we don't want it there because then that means the mobs won't get killed and then do that or oh, we're dry ah because of that there we go and stuff should start falling oh we've already had a creeper I, I missed that when did that happen so yeah the hoppers will collect up all the loot for us and put it into there and I can hear an enderman okay there's an enderman there Let's put these here, like so. I probably did not need that many, but oh well. Right, Enderman, come here. I see you. There we go. Now we can get him from the safety of two blocks. Out and move forwards a bit. He did a lot of damage. Okay. Oh, there's two. There's a friend. He had a friend. Oh, I heard a skeleton. Oh, it didn't... Oh, it didn't die. Oh, no. I didn't build it high enough. I thought that. Okay, because I only build it 22, and I think you need it 25. But I was think. Ah, I know why. Because I was thinking if I do a second layer, so just identical, I didn't get any ender pearls. Oh, I didn't get any enderpearls. Okay, so you can get these for XP and like this and then use it as an XP farm. Because they're damaged, they've already fallen. Okay, sometimes they die, sometimes they don't. And then you can just get them in one hit and get all the XP. And then if you were to add an extra floor to it, so you just leave the ceiling in the middle open and just copy what you have done here on top of it. And then they will fall and die because that's going to be higher up so they'll take more fall damage. But that's a way to get an XP farm and mob farm in one. Okay, 
Let's just go like this. See, one hit. But could possibly even use my fist. I don't know. Right. There's all this XP. There we go. What you can do, though, is break these. Oh, no, I can't get the XP. Break these and leave it open the whole way round is what you could do. Oh, well, it's only one ball of XP. There we go. Let's grab that. Yep, that's a one punch for the skeleton and two punches for the zombie. So they do not need that much. And we have all that. Okay, let's put that there. And go have a look from a distance. We should probably get our sword out. Just in case there is anything else around here. Let's grab a couple melons from our melon farm. There we go. Got lots of food now. And let's head over here. There we go. There is our mob farm. Okay, so we can come back here up the stairs and sleep and then we will stop the rain. There we go, let's head back down and then we can head over here and look at our new mob spawner. So that's it for this episode, I will insert a little bit now of the mob spawner completed with the second layer once I have done that. So that's it for this episode and I will see you in the next one where we will be going to the nether. So we are going to be getting armoured up and getting some armour and tools and everything that we need to go venture into the nether. So I will see you then. Bye!